What's going on guys? Caleb here. I am going to do a quick little tutorial for the Mahdi ROM and uh, figure it while doing that I may also just kind of show my setup a little bit and uh, really excited. It's nice to be able to uh, play with so many ROMs and launchers and themes. Um, the OnePlus One has been a very fun phone. The community has been very good. What I wanted to focus on Mostly though is the Mahdi ROM, and uh, you can get that on the OnePlus forums um, or XDA. It appears both sites have uh, really good threads from all the developers, and the OnePlus community just has been really good. So you go there, you've got your download links, you'll need to download the ROM, your Google Apps, and uh, I definitely recommend getting the slim uh, Google Apps. That allows you to do the dark UI. Uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So I'm going to scroll down here to all the features. And it is a very long laundry list. The ROM is packed full of everything that you might expect uh, from the tweaks perspective. So I'm not just going to read off everything here. And you guys obviously would want to go to the forums and read it up on your own. Just so you can know what all you can play with when you flash it. But it's, uh, as you can see, it's got a lot going on there. And down here at the theme section, obviously it does have the CM theme engine, which is a huge upgrade from the old theme engine, by the way. Um, I should do another tutorial just on that, uh, or a review, rather. The dark UI is, you guys that are on Slim, um, Slimcat would probably recognize that as just like the, uh, the dark uh, user interface they do. I love that Mahdi uh, incorporates that. It's... Uh, it helps me not miss slim parts of Slim Cat. Um, all right, so I'll keep going through the list. And uh, wow, I mean it's yeah. All right, so you get the point. All right, <laughs> it's long. I am going to just start playing around a little bit. Let's see what we got going on. That does have the. Quick toggles here, uh, which obviously CM11S has incorporated, which is a, a nice welcome feature. Mahdi allows you to do a, a swipe left to right uh, to pull it up, and you don't, it's uh, infinite. You can just scroll one way, it doesn't have to be one way or the other. The uh, toggles here, obviously, you can have lots of customization there. Op I've opted for Four, I think they give three, four, and five are the options. Go into settings a little bit. Now I am on the stock, not theme, not dark UI. Uh, so this is what it would look like after flashing. All your basic settings down here. Everything will look somewhat the same. Throughout your settings, there's going to be lots of uh, settings within things that, you know, uh, this whole laundry list that you can do through here with the uh, buttons and let's see themes typically you wouldn't have that dark UI if you were on another ROM I'm gonna flip that on and let you see what that does it's amazing it's such a beautiful beautiful thing to have everything so dark um, and it carries through, so I just, uh, that was a big perk of Slimcat, and uh, it's just nice to be able to have that, because typically with ROMs, you either get uh, no theme engine, a theme engine, or you get the dark from Slimcat, but you've never really been able to have both, so uh, it's a big perk. Theme packs, obviously they're there, and I'm going to go ahead and fl uh, switch over to the Blink theme, this was released today, and it's beautiful, and it's only a dollar, and the guy who did it, just good guy. So, strongly encourage picking that up, and I mean, man, look at that. It really just brings a whole new level. All right, so, uh, we'll get into the UI settings, quickly go through some of this stuff here. Uh, you know, the flip tiles uh, and smaller tiles. So, watch the Bluetooth, I'll cut it on and off up here. And I just, small little thing, but having the tiles rotate like that, eh, I just think that's cool. Alright, so, 
uh, da, da, da. all the other normal little things that you might see notification drawer change all of that um, I mean the uh, slim gosh another thing I wasn't even thinking about it but uh, most of you guys are on Slimcat. Probably one of the biggest benefits is how they've implemented their Recents menu, which is just gorgeous. Um, that has also been incorporated with Mari. And the only thing that I can say is it seems like sometimes it pulls up Recents and sometimes it doesn't. Like you just saw a little bit ago, it was blank and now all my apps are there. So while it's there, it's, uh, it seems like it works 50-50. At least that's for, for my uh, recollection. Let's see here. Status bar. Change everything up there. See, I got the center clock. Um, I don't understand why CM11S doesn't have that, but there we go. Just tons of tweaks. So the ROM uh, looks beautiful. Lots of options. And um, I guess the next obvious question is stability, battery life. From using this on multiple devices and on the OnePlus One for a little over, I don't know, about eight days now, uh, I've gotten to know it pretty well. Uh, I need to probably be on it a little bit longer to make a, a fuller recommendation, but battery life has been good. Um, I would say maybe not as great as when I was on CM11S. Uh, that just seems to be such a battery sipper. Uh, they've really done some great stuff on the OnePlus One and it just doesn't seem like the other ROMs, I get the same battery life. But, I mean, with the OnePlus One's battery, you easily get through a day. Like, I don't ever worry about my battery. So it's not like it's really an issue anyway. Um, the OnePlus One's been an amazing uh, battery sipper. Um, Alright, so... And as far as stability, I think I've had one reboot. Uh, I did some... Uh, heavy social media, internet, gaming, and I was playing music and skipping tracks, and I guess for whatever reason I had one you know random reboot today, but that's the first one I've had, um, and it was just got updated yesterday, so maybe there's something going on there, and he is updating it frequently, so that's also a nice perk. Um, trying to think, what else I really should go over there? I mean that's kind of the basics. Oh. You know what? I did neglect one other benefit. You know, some of you guys might think, well, I'm going to miss um, CM11S. Well, you can bring a lot of the features over with the OnePlus One using a ROM like Mahdi, and you just flash the, the apps from CM11S. So as you can see here, I've got the um, CM11S camera, which is really cool, by the way. And then this is the newest one that just came out, so it's got that clear image take a shot of these apples real quick and you know that's I can't remember I think it's like 10 photos that it's like stitching together so uh, the processing on it really isn't that bad compared to like an HDR just do that for a comparison looks like it's really about the same so anyway just a, one little thing to point out uh, all the apps I've even seen you know the lock screen some people like the blue blocked lock screen from CM11S um, Let's see, so I think that pretty much covers it. The ROM, again, very, very good ROM. It's been very fast. Uh, again, I've only had that one uh, incident with the, the random reboot. It's got all the tweaks and bells and whistles. Uh, you know, the sending to your, your video to the Chromecast, all the other stuff is working just great. So, um, anyway, I think uh, I'm, at this point I'm rambling, but if you guys have any questions, comments, just... Uh, Put them down below, I'll respond. Thanks.